Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on Answer CFD. In this session, we will analyze a pipe with sudden expansion for CFD analysis. We will start by double clicking on fluid flow fluid. I'll go to geometry and right click. New design modular geometry. Millimeter XY plane look at. I'll go to sketching. I'll choose circle. I'll draw a circle and give it dimension. This is 60 mm. Next, I'll go to modeling. Extrude. I'll extrude the sketch one. I'll choose operation as add frozen. And I'll give the depth as 150 mm. Generate. Next, I want to draw another circle here. So I'll choose face. New sketch for that new plane. Generate. Look at. Again, I'll go to sketching and choose circle. I'll draw one more circle and give it dimension. Say this is 80 mm. Then I'll go for extrude again. I'll choose the sketch to apply. Operation is add frozen. Depth is 150 mm. Generate. Here I'll change this to add frozen and generate for extrude 1. So both of them become transparent to view. Now here you can see two parts, two bodies. So these two are two separate bodies right now. I want to make it as a single entity pipe. Then I'll go to create boolean. I'll select both the solids. Apply. Operation is to unite. Generate. So now both of them have become one part, one body. Now I want to make this as a hollow pipe. So I will go to thin surface. It is asking for the geometry. So I'll select all three of them. Apply. I'll give a thickness of 1.5 mm. Generate. So here the hollow pipe has been created. Now I also want to give fluid inside. So this is just one solid. That is the pipe. So I'll go to tools, I'll select fill, I'll select the surface control and select these surfaces. Keep the control button pressed when you're selecting the other faces. Apply, generate. So now you can see two solids. This is the outer one. So I'll rename this as pipe. And this is the inner one. The fluid inside. So I'll rename this as fluid. So this completes the geometry. So once this is done, now I'll go to the main screen. I'll go to meshing and double click on it. Here I'll go to mesh and I'll change the default sizing to 0 0.01 meter and generate. So you can see the fluid and the pipe both have got meshed. You can improve the meshing. I am leaving it to this itself. Now I'll rename the surfaces. So this is the outlet because after expansion, the fluid will leave from here. Select create named selection. This is the outlet. This is the wall surface. So I'll select all three of them. Right click create named selection wall. 
and this is the inlet so you can check here there is inlet wall and the outlet all three of them so once this is done you should also generate the mesh once again so i'll go to mesh and update you can see here the mesh translation to fluent was successful after this step your meshing is complete so now you can close this window then you can go to setup and double click on it double precision to be selected here start now we'll go to gravity along the y axis i'll change this value to minus 9.81 meter per second square then i'll go to material in fluid i'll double click on air then i'll click on fluent database here i'll choose water liquid copy close and you can close this here you can check water liquid has been added also i want to change the pipe material so i'll go to fluent database here i'll change material type to solid i'll choose steel copy close and close this so once the materials have been added i'll go to boundary conditions inlet and double click on inlet velocity i'll go to velocity magnitude here i'll change this to 2.2 apply close once this is done boundary conditions have been given i'll go to reference values i'll compute from the inlet and reference zone is the fluid then i'll go to initialization i'll choose standard initialization compute from inlet initialize after this i'll go to auto save every iteration i'll give this value as 25 say okay this is done then i'll go to graphics now here you need to first choose path lines i will color by pressure i'll change static to dynamic because that's what we want to see then i'll choose here the region that is inlet press control select outlet wall and wall pipe save display so this is done you can close this now i have created one path line if you see here when you click on the plus sign i want to create one more path line and this will be color by velocity so i want to see the velocity magnitude on the inlet outlet wall wall pipe save display here again you can see the velocity if you select the path line of the pressure you can see the values of pressure you can see the values now once this is done i have given path lines i also want to go for contours so i'll click on contour double click your contour of dynamic pressure i'll choose inlet outlet wall wall pipe save display so this is one contour that i have created i want to create one more contour so i'll double click on it i'll change this to velocity velocity magnitude i'll click on con contact region trg so you can see this save display now for the first contour also you do the same thing you can only select the contact region trg and remove all four of them 
save display so you can see this contour over here now you can see the proper contour when you go for the results as of now you can just select these so once this is done i'll go for run calculations and double click on it number of iterations i'll give as 100 calculate So calculations are complete okay now if you see here the number of iterations have reached 100 but i do not see a proper convert solution so what i'll do is i'll just change this to 500 and solve once again now you can see here the number of iterations are increasing which means the solution was not converged in the first case so you can see here the calculations are complete you can see this graph you can see here that the results have gone up to 600 iterations so it is possible that more number of iterations are required i have given still lesser so you can increase this to 800 and solve so now i leave it to this once this solution is obtained you can see here this is the contour of the dynamic pressure which has already been obtained here now i'll close this Then I'll go to results and double click on it. I'll first go to this inlet, tick over here, double click so that I can see it. I'll go to render and I'll change this value to 0 0.9 and apply. Then I'll go to outlet, double click, I'll change the render value to 0.9, apply. Then I'll go to wall and tick over here, double click, change the render value to 0.9, apply and then I'll go to wall pipe, double click, change the render value to 0.9 and apply. So now all of them have become transparent and visible. So I'll just change the direction here. Now once this is done, I'll go to streamline, OK. Starting from inlet, 25 points, variable is velocity, apply. So here we can see the velocity streamline that has been created. You can see the maximum velocity is 2.353 meter per second and minimum is 1.923 meter per second in this pipe. Now once this is done, this is a way of seeing the velocity. You can go to animation. You can change this to sweep animation, select the streamline, change the speed as per your requirement, remove whatever loop, you can repeat it twice and you can solve and see the flow. So you can see here initially the velocity was fast, then the particles in the inner portion moved very fast with a higher velocity, but the particles towards the wall, they were lagging in velocity, the reason was because of the shear stress applied by the wall, the velocity reduced of the particles which were close to the wall. But the particles which were at the center did not face any resistance. Hence, they continued moving with the same velocity. So this is one thing that you can observe. Once this is done, you can close this animation. Now, I don't want to see the streamline. So I'll just remove the tick from here. I will go to contour and click on contour. This is the first contour that I am creating. Location, I am going to choose contact region TRG. That is what we had created over there. For pressure, the range is local. You can just click on apply. So you can see this pressure contour. This is of the dynamic pressure that we had created. We can just come to render and remove the contour lines such that these lines disappear and you are seeing a smooth variation of values. Now once this is done, I'll create one more contour. Okay. This is for velocity. So I'll change this to velocity. I'll change range to local. Location is contact region TRG as we had created before. Again, go to render 
show contour lines you can remove and apply so these values have changed you can see here and this is the variation of velocity in the pipe here the velocity is low because there is a sudden change of dimension so this will reduce and then slowly it will increase towards the outlet but when you see contour 1 here you can see the dynamic pressure is going to be high over here and it is low in this region now low means it has become zero and here the pressure value is in negative so this will obviously be lesser as compared to zero so that's how you analyze the results for a pipe with sudden expansion. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the analysis. If you have any doubt, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.